families here are no doubt feeling the agony of the war tonight. Tonight, we spoke to two families about their emotional ordeals. One mother who lives on the Upper East Side traveled to Israel to find her missing daughter, only to get devastating news. And while another family continues to wait for word on their loved one, CBS 2's Doug Williams has more. Hani Ricardo, a native Israeli living in New York, found a flight and flew to Israel as soon as she heard that her 26-year-old daughter, Oria, was missing. I was still hoping that she would come back to me. Then I found a message from her on, on uh, WhatsApp saying, Mom, I love you so much. And uh, I realized that that was a kind of a goodbye. Oria had attended the Supernova Music Festival on Saturday, where 260 Israelis are said to have been killed by Hamas militants. Hani says Oria and two others got away from the concert in a car, but were eventually caught. Uh, terrorists were waiting. They were like a uh, spider web. They were everywhere and they shot them. My daughter was found yesterday by her boyfriend. The world lost my flower. She was an incredible, incredible young lady. The most beautiful girl you could imagine. Elad Levy is a native Israeli, but spent much of his adult life as a New Yorker. He says his 19-year-old niece is among the many that are missing. She was in a building that was burned down by Hamas. We know that at least one or two is confirmed dead, and a few others, among them Roni, are missing. Unknown, non, not a trace. You don't know where he's about. How is he? Is she wounded? Is she hurt? Um, is she kidnapped? How do they treat her? Doug Williams, CBS 2 News.